Queen's Gambit accepted, Gunsberg defense, Prianishenmo Gambit, 7.e5. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d5 establishes a presence in the center, controls the e4 square, and opens up the light squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center and protects the d4 pawn. nf6 protects the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. c4 gains space on the queen's side, prepares to develop the knight to c3, and invites black to give up control of the e4 square after dxc4. dxc4 captures the c4 pawn and opens up the center. nc3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. This is a fair move. It is good. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This kicks an opposing knight. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is the last book move. That pawn was free for the taking. It is good. This reveals an attack on a queen. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is forced. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. This evades the check from the rook. It is good. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This misses an opportunity to defend a knight that was under attack. It is a mistake. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. This threatens to kick a knight. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a blunder. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This misses a great but hard to find move. This threatens to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. It is best. This captures a vulnerable knight. It is best. Takes back. 
It is best. Takes back. It is good. The knight is now adequately defended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This protects the attack pawn. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This creates a threat to win a pawn. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is forced. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is forced. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is a great move. This leads to losing a knight. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This is the way to win a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. This reveals an attack on a bishop. It is best. This reveals a check on the opponent's king. It is excellent. This blocks the check from an opposing rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.